Well, Don Wright and John McGovern, thanks very much for joining us here in the Mega Store. A momentous day, Don, as we release our 150th anniversary book. And I imagine a lot of work's gone into it as well. Yes, and I hope it lives up to the occasion. But it's taken uh, a year's research and writing. Not working all the time on it, of course, but over, the, over a year. And uh, it's been a very interesting experience, chiefly because of people I met from the early families. And I'm thinking now of uh, Nick Clifford, who is a season ticket holder in the Brian Clough stand, and um, whose great-grandfather was Walter Rowe Limbury, probably the father of Nottingham Forest, because he captained the shinny team on the forest, and then he captained the football team, and then he became the first chairman, and then when they ran into a little financial difficulty, he took over as secretary and treasurer and turned it all round. So it was good meeting him, and it was also good meeting Mike Foreman, uh, whose grandfather was Frank uh, Foreman, and Frank and Fred, of course, the Foreman brothers, were the first brothers from a football league club to play together for England. And that didn't happen again until the Neville brothers of Manchester United. So uh, it was great meeting them, and I also met some fans. I met um, Marion and Margaret, who in the 1959 Cup Final were called the Forest Glamour Girls. Uh, because they were photographed standing on the wall in front of the crowd at the forest end of Wembley. And um, they were also interviewed uh, before the match by Ken Wollstone, the commentator, who saw them. And um, then they were lost, and nobody knew who they were. People said, oh, they must have been models. But they weren't. They were Nottingham girls who worked together for an insurance company in the city centre and they were friends because uh, both their fathers played for Booth a Boots Athletic, the local football team. So that was excellent. Brilliant, so plenty of uh, fantastic anecdotes there, Don. Also, John, I mean, I don't know what your author's instincts are like, <laughs> but when you're writing a book you need a good story, and I think you know better than anybody there's plenty to tell in the forest tale down the years. Well, obviously 150 years, it's a great celebration. Uh, I didn't play in the original shinny team, by the way. Um, so, you know, and lots of great memories. You know, trips to Wembley, you know, 1959, or even before that, 1898. Am I right there, Don? Yes, when we won right the, the FA Cup. Had team other photographs taken in Derby County shirts. That's so right. it would show up better uh, on the photographs. Yeah. So there's lots of great, fantastic memories, and, and obviously part of that will be the, the time that I was involved in the club as a player in the days of Brian Clough and Peter Taylor where you know we produced some outstanding results that kind of took the, the football world by storm so you know great memories from a long long time ago um, obviously the book will describe you know how the club was first formed as well so you know a history all in one so it looks like being a good read. Well, I suppose for anybody who's thinking of buying the book, it's important for them to know where their money's going, you know, what the, the proceeds are going to be yeah. used for. Well, um, I'm not going to take a penny out of it. All the royalties, all the proceeds are going to Forest and hopefully to the Academy and possibly some to uh, Forest in the community. So um, I hope it does well for that reason. John, just finally, because there is a large queue forming behind you. <laughs> Events like these are always fantastic, but this seems a little bit different. A book signing, have you ever been to one? Well, my autobiography <laughs> came out a couple of years ago, so I was at quite a few then. I've got um, signature. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's a case of, you know, this is about the, the, the history of the club right from day one to present day, you know, and there's enough fantastic memories uh, for people to read it, and obviously the majority of our supporters that do buy it and read it will be going, I was at that game. And I was at that game, and and obviously, if you've got a successful history, as we have, you know, having won the League Cup four times, you know, and having won the the FA Cup um, a couple of times, and obviously the the team that won European Cups. So you know, fantastic memories, and uh, I'm positive a lot of the fans will be buying the book just to to go over the the matches that they went to themselves or the trips they went on themselves, because obviously in Europe we had a really successful time and. 
the number of fans that travelled abroad and behaved themselves was unbelievable. We had, a, we had a manager that kept us in check, but the supporters kept themselves in check and earned the respect of other supporters throughout Europe. So that in itself was a great achievement. Um, never any trouble where Nottingham Forest were playing. Uh, and that's a credit to the, the people and the supporters of Nottingham. Well, don't we wish the book every success, but Thank for you. now you better get signing. Thank you very much.